Alright guys, today we're going to look at uh, scissor guard sweeps, uh, flows, uh, and applications. And I'm going to start off with how I like having my students start when they're in the guard position. Uh, I believe guard is an important concept that you need to train uh, for overall jiu-jitsu development. Obviously you don't want to be here uh, when you're in a fight, but if you're looking to get better at jiu-jitsu, you need to understand how to fight from the guard. But um, when I play guard, I love playing guard actually, uh, but when I play guard, I try to keep on, a, on a, the line of I'm still in a combative mindset. I'm not trying to do things that are highly, um, not highly risky, but highly sportive. I do, I do play sport beat guard a lot too, but my overall concept, how I like to give my students a base layer, fundamental jiu-jitsu, is that you need to have a, a strong uh, guard to start from, strong control, and be able to defend really well. So especially the white belt, your job is to defend. And this is a good series that kind of explains how to go from defending to attacking. So first, I want you guys to think about when you're in guard, we are playing, and I have no connection, whether I'm, uh, whether he's standing on your knees, you don't pick it up, uh, that I, and I have no connection, I don't want to be an easy target. So I don't want to be lying down, because he's going to grab my legs and throw me around. I don't want to just kind of be sitting with my feet close together, because he's going to grab my legs and throw me around. Uh, I obviously don't want to be lying down either, if that's retarded. Uh, excuse my language, but it's a stupid. So what I want to be is basically in a position where I can do a technical stand-up. So if you look, uh, I'm essentially in a technical stand-up position where I get back to my feet really easily, but I also want to show you the difference of where I am. If you look, I'm in my fighting stance. I'm essentially still in my fighting stance. So it's, like, it's like your ground fighting stance. So um, it's a really important position that if you ever get grounded, knocked down in a fight, put on your ass, and you have no connection to someone, this is your first position you get to. This is your defensive position. And, and when you're starting rolling, if we're just training and I want to play guard, I want you guys to start fighting from this position, okay? So, uh, what we're look at right now, because we are playing the guard concept, we're going to look at just how to get to a scissor guard when I have no connection. So, the first things I always look for is a grip. My I ideal grip is collar, all right? Whether I can reach up and grab that, that's great, or I have something lower, or I have a cross grip. I want to have something. Uh, if it's no game, I'm just looking for a reference point. But let's say I have something, I'm going to get his collar. I don't care no, too much about the grip and how high it is right now. I just want a grip. From now on, now I'm posting like I'm going to be doing a technical stand-up, but I'm bringing my foot to his hip. Once I bring this foot to the hip, I now turn to my right, bring him in, and then I'm looking for my grip control right here. Okay. So now I pull scissor guard. So um, if you notice, my right foot references and stays on his hip. My left foot, uh, let's turn. Can we, I think, here, let's make it easier for camera. So, we're here, and I am in my scissor position. So, right foot stays at the hip, so I'm trying to reference his hip, and left foot, it changes. I try to keep it right on the hip level, whether my toes turn in, or my heel comes to the inside of his hip, what I want to post. Now, from self-defense perspective, this is my knee shield. I'm keeping him away from me, all right? I can start opening up with hammers here, too. Whether I have, if I have a grip, I'm grabbing and keeping the outside. If I don't have a grip, I'm referencing in here. I'm looking for this kind of control. So this is your base layer scissor defensive position. Now, Sean, can you do me a favor and just back away a little bit? I want to show you guys what happens. If you look, I'm now back into my technical stand-up position. I just rotated a little bit, so I'm not really changing much. I'm just trying to get to a position where I can fight and defend from. All right? So let's go back to that position. I'm in scissor guard. Okay. Foot in the hip at first, all right? Now, when you first get a scissor cigar, there's always a quick opportunity for a scissor sweep. So that's the concept of chopping this leg and kicking him over, all right? If he starts rooting out, this will be a little challenging. We'll go to a knee push sweep next. But just talking about a scissor sweep, I'm looking for him to have a high posture, and now I'm gonna keep him controlled, and I'm gonna drop this leg to the ground. As I drop, I'm gonna go scooping, and then I kick hard my left leg. He falls over, and I follow him right up into the mount position. All right, so let's go one more time. And guys, we have a ton of videos on the scissor sweep out there, so I'm not gonna go into too much details. It was more just kind of getting into that, the scissor guard concept, okay? And the flow itself. So now I'm gonna go for my scissor sweep again. Boom, he falls over, I get here. All right, now, let's say, first common response on the scissor sweep, or what shuts it down instantly, is when he widens his base. So he gets a nice wide legs. So now my edge, the way to sweep him, is gone, all right? Now guys, you always have to maintain control like this. When they're trying to pass the guard, they open up that leg. So if I have no control over the sleeve, he just pushes my leg down and starts passing, okay? All right, so let's go back. I have to maintain control. Now, 
Doesn't mean I always have to have this grip here. If you got a really strong guy, just put two hands on one. Grab it here, keep it nice and tight to you. I can still do the technique, okay? So just for training, I'm gonna go right here. He winds that base, good. Now, I have long legs, so, oh, I can do it right now, but I have long legs, so sometimes it's hard to get my foot inside his knee. So what I do is I wave away a little bit. So I create a little space for him to fall into over there. Now I keep all that control. My leg comes on inside of his knee. So I'm kicking his knee out to flare his hip. I kick again, kick, in the exact same position I was before that scissor sweep. So it's a knee push sweep. And one of the ones I like a lot, because it works well for my body type, it allows me to get offline. So I'm here again, scissor guard, all right. I go for a scissor sweep, he defends wide. Now I'm gonna get myself offline. All right, the only one's gonna punch him, all right. Now, I put my foot on the inside, and I straighten my leg like I try to kick his hip out, kick, and come right on top, this position, okay? So, we're in our scissor guard position. First time we're for a scissor sweep, he defends with a knee push, okay? Now, I go for knee push, so I kick, he steps forward with it, right? Very, very common response. So, there's two different things you can do from here. Right now, we're gonna go to our, we're gonna recover our guard. So I sometimes will go right to a uh, knee shield half guard from here. But right now, I'm gonna try to push away a little bit. Just gonna his body up and get my foot right back to his hip. All right, now for this particular one, I'm gonna go sleeve. So I went from here, now I'm going sleeve to sleeve. My hips come up and they turn over. Now I'm gonna move the hands on the inside. This leg comes underneath. I drop that leg, kick, and I come over right into my elbow. We call that elevator sweep. All right, so let's look at that again. Good, I'm in my scissor guard. I go for a scissor sweep, he defends. Nice wide base. I knee push, he steps up and over it. Good, I recover instantly, Star Sean. All right, now I let the hand come down, grab the other sleeve, hips up, over. All right, now keep my left foot to hip, right now comes underneath, I drop it, kick, punch, and now I'm on top with your elevator sweep. So guys, that's a great option. We'll come back up, Sean. Uh, it's a cool option as you know a good sweeping concept, but it's not one that I personally use a lot. But it teaches you a lot about the movement of just you come back on your uh, on your just your senior knees. Good. So uh, what a student should be able to do is have the ability to switch his hips back and forth and control and monitor the hips. All right, it's a really important skill. I don't want to just like roll back and forth. My hips have to become up off the ground and switch so I can defend either way. Uh, it's a really important skill, whether it be self-defense or just normal jiu-jitsu. So that's why I like kind of teaching that elevator sweep there. Also, um, so put that leg up now. What also starts teaching you to use is hooking concepts. So now I have a hook in that leg. There's a lot of, you know, this is the, the, the knee push sweep is right, uh, the uh, elevator sweep is right there because that's what, fits because he's still his posture really high, but learn to use and control those hooks is really important uh, for base layers of white belt because that's what starts getting into a lot of different stuff the butterfly guard concepts which you go over in, in the blue and the purple belt uh, as well as like, some variation of that, but the idea of hooking is really important. All right, we're going to go over one more series when he steps up. So let's go over one more option from um, when he posts that leg. So I go with scissor, he defends by widening it, I go for knee push, he steps up. Okay. So now what I try to do, so that they st try to step up, they're trying to get like, you know, through you. So now I'm gonna start moving that knee over and bring that leg here, okay? Uh, for white belts, we kind of just use this as a way to stand up by reaping the knee, uh, but I can reap the knee and just kind of come up. And that way, very, very simple. Uh, it's a concept I wanna teach you guys compared to actual technique. As you get more sportive uh, or more playful, there's a, there's a ton of foot locks off of there, heel hooks, toe holds, uh, you get into a lot of other series of uh, attacking the arms and legs, but it's against the concept of, just put that leg up again. I'm now using, instead I can't get to my hook, I'm using my leg and my, my body to bring him over the other way. So I'm exposing this leg. Again, a very defensive position, all right? I can really start kicking him, moving away from me, or just start kicking him, moving, and just standing up. So it's a simple concept that we can either hook it, or go around that leg too. Uh, for sport purposes, if you're playing, uh, if you're competing in IBJJF rules, 
uh, reaping the knee like that would be illegal, uh, but we're not thinking out of sport range right now. So as a quick review, we've got our scissor guard position, scissor sweep, okay? He defends, knee push sweep, boom, defends by stepping up. I can either stay here, hips up, and go for my, my uh, elevator, or I switch my grip, move that leg over, and bring that knee over. And now I'm in a nice strong position. I gotta really control him, simply kick him away, and get back up if I need to. So that is your kind of scissor guard flow series uh, as a white belt. Ground flow one. Ground flow one.